Hello, I'm George and this is my father Niels. We, together we develop and build synthesizers. I'm a musician and he's an electrical engineer, right? That is correct. Yes. And uh, so far we have built many, many, many synthesizers, many modules. Why don't you tell us a little bit, uh, a bit about what we've built so far? Yeah, we started about a year ago uh, from scratch. Um, and the very first uh, project was a synthesizer developed by Ray Wilson, the late Ray Wilson, sadly. Um, the what's it? The Mark II. Yeah, yeah the, Mark the II. Soundlab Mini Mark II. Soundlab Mini Mark II. Many iterations of that. The first one we didn't like as much. The oscillators drifted too much, so we just rebuilt it. You you redesigned it from scratch. A completely new PCB for the synth. Yeah. The thing is, um, we have the equipment to uh, create our own PCBs. We use a free software, uh, KiCad, to uh, draw the schematics and to lay out the PCB. And uh, actually etching the PCB and all the chemical stuff is done, is done in our kitchen. Yes. <laughs> So yeah, it's, it's, it's very easy actually, uh, almost everybody can do that. It's, it's not really messy and uh, not expensive and uh, it's a very fast way to uh, create prototypes. And then we've also uh, built the Lifeboat synthesizer, my modular synthesizer, which is uh, one single uh, case with a bunch of modules and everything 100% analog. It's got a real spring reverb and it's meant, to, uh, it's meant so you can play live shows on it. Like uh, you have a lead voice, a bass voice, and some drums, but everything analog, no samples, no presets. It's just it is what you have, and you can hear it on my uh, YouTube channel here as well, and on my Instagram as well. So many of those designs are based on, on projects from Ray Wilson, also uh, some old stuff from the famous Mr. Moog, um, and yeah, more and more racks or uh, modules that we, we built uh, based on our own ideas. When we take a little bit of that and a little bit of that and create something new. Yeah, like um, modulation uh, module, which has a lot of modulation options, it has envelope generators and LFOs. Yeah, yeah, we did an 808 drum module that's heavily modified. Yeah. Heavily modified, it sounds completely different and very cool. Yeah, and uh, we're doing these videos now so that we can uh, have like an archive um, of our uh, weekly progress in this journey so we can look back and see okay that week we did this and that week we did, we did that and uh, this is the first week and um, yeah the current current project we have going is a generative synth rack it's um, a generative music it's uh, music that is generated by the euro rack by the uh, modules and you set the rules for the music. You don't play the notes yourself, you just set the rules and uh, follow the organic nature of the sound. That's how I would describe it. Yeah, yeah. right. And uh, so far we have uh, two modules in the work for this. The first is the uh, Melody Fountain, which is loosely based upon the uh, Turing machine. And uh, this right here is uh, the clock module, which is um, just the general master MIDI and uh, sync clock and it's uh, named after a character in one of our favorite book series. It's uh, named after Lord Veterinary of the Discworld books by the late Terry Pratchett, Sir Terry Pratchett. Because uh, if you twist this knob, you uh, adjust how, um, how on the beat every beat is. So it's kind of, it's not a really swing, it's kind of like a randomness factor to move the rhythm a little. In our first approach we call that the drunkenness factor. Yes. <laughs> if you have a drunken drummer then he might make me miss a beat or something like that. So we try to reproduce that. Yeah. But in a controlled way. In a controlled yeah. way. If you, if you turn this knob all the way down then you see that the light gets a little bit dimmer. That tells us it's now 100% dead on. And if we increase it then randomly uh, we miss a beat or we add a beat and the further you go the more it adds. You can see that reflecting by the, the brightness of the, the display. Yeah. Um, and with this you adjust the, the master beat. 
the master clock here. Or you just uh, yeah. use the tap button and then depending on how fast you hit it, you adjust a new one, a new yeah. beat. Yeah, that, you added that function today. Yeah. So what, what did you do over the weekend, over the last, uh, the last week? Yeah, uh, during the weekend I um, designed the front panel, the layout of the front panel, you added some artwork to that. Yeah. Then um, I drilled the stuff, cut it out, cut it out, put all the uh, controls on it. Wired the PCB up to it. Yeah, the PCB is one of those that uh, we made ourselves. Yeah, it's and powered by a small Arduino. Yeah, you see there's a little Arduino Nano, which is the heart of this uh, rack. Um, yeah, what else? That's pretty much what we did. Yeah. We still have some issues with the melody fountain uh, because the scale doesn't adhere to the scale that it's set, but that shouldn't be uh, hard to fix. I just haven't gotten around to documenting that yet. So we haven't done too much this week. We've had a busy week. Mm -hmm. So and so over the past year, everything we did was 100% analog. And just now we started to uh, use a microcontroller to uh, get a little bit more uh, effects. Yeah. So this is this is uh, these two modules, the melody and the uh, clock, are the first uh, real projects we've done with an Arduino. Mm -hmm. Like completely de designed from scratch, he wrote all the software and wired everything up and I just gave general design directions like we need to tap tempo button and that LED should be blue, things like that. Yeah, you provide the ideas and I make it happen. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much how we work and uh, yeah, we want to have these uh, things weekly, these vlogs and uh, just a simple setup, just a little camera, just talking to the camera and have that. Right. Yeah, so thank you for watching if you've been watching this far and uh, have a nice week. We'll be back next Tuesday. Thank you.